All right, hello and welcome back to Are We There Yet? Season four, episode two, uh, with Lokomotiva Zagreb in Croatia. Uh, so nothing to fill you in on. Uh, it's only been two or three days since the last episode, uh, in game at least. So basically, we're going to get into the three fixtures we've discussed. So that's Novigrad, NK Istra, and NK Solen. I'm not sure where the accent's coming from there. Uh, so that, but that's the three games up and before the little what do you call it uh the break winter break i suppose so you know last league game is the 23rd of december are uh, we come back two months later with just the one friendly in between probably will book some more friendlies in there just to see what the squad's capable of i'm going to try running out the 424 i know nothing about a 424 uh, something i'm definitely still working on the register i haven't changed yet i could just go for a deep line playmaker on support instead I uh, was debating switching those two around to something I know that works, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much that's going to work, so let's just just shut it. We'll just leave it like that. As far as the first team, the same as exactly the same as what we put. Uh, what I ran you through the other day, uh, and Begonia here is the key man. <laughs> he's play. He's got the highest average rating. As far as average ratings go, there is. Not much of anything going on. Ivan Scancy, uh, Scancy on a 6.92. I'm not sure where he's been playing or who's been playing for. It's not really ideal. I've set up all the training. Uh, I've had a quick look at the staff. They're not ideal. Uh, but we'll slowly work through that. I'm also not going to worry too much about running you guys through that. Uh, because at the moment it's all likely to change. So I know we're not the favourites. It's already come up in the news feed. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I don't know if the shape's going to work. Uh, it's the only it's the only bad thing about taking over partway through a season. But you see, the thing is, uh, no comment. It's a special day. I can't wait to get started. Uh, bad luck has to end somewhere. Um, let's just boost the players I'm not going to talk about him so playing a 4-2-3-1 I mean we could play a 4-2-3-1 uh, I'm going to actually start looking I'm going to go just I mean they're not going to want to listen to a bar of what I have to say at the moment I don't speak Croatian uh, they don't know me from a bar of soap I've been here for two days maybe three uh, like I said I've gone to counter uh, and forgive me if I ruin these names because it's highly likely that I'm going to uh, so we're in the blue and white uh, Novigrad in the red uh, and obviously away from home so there's plenty to be done I've only got one scout at the moment a chief scout so I haven't even had the chance to start looking around uh, so much so that I didn't even get a like a pre-game report so I didn't know where to look normally I like to have a quick look at that just to see what sort of shapes they play what they concede against uh, and then I can sort of work out what I'm doing from there I'd like to not concede here in the first minute that would be great uh, and that's the the end of the opening highlight but they're straight back at us maybe counters not going to be enough here uh, that, that could have been a penalty uh, so Kolar on over the top it's not going to get there Perich no, he's looking for Kolar again. And Yelkovich plays over to Batelic. It's too early to concede. Uh, Dadic into Batelic. Oh, no, the keeper's had a mare there. That was so very, very saveable. Uh, and as, I, as I've mentioned before, being a goalkeeper, it hurts. It really hurts to see someone like that go in. Uh, not a very good start at all. Sort of get creative. A uh, highlight for us now, though, in the corner. Fiolic. So uh, not a bad header from Perich, but Mitrovic is going to handle that quite easily. And I've just realised I didn't do anything about the set piece takers. All that shit I was talking in the previous episode with that real long squad report, and I haven't even set up the tactic properly. I'm a little bit excited. I'm really like I'm just really excited about getting the season underway. As Kyrame there, not flicks that on, but I don't think we've got an advanced enough second striker. So that's something I'm definitely going to need to look at improving. 
Still only 10 minutes gone, uh, but here they come again. Actually, the more I think about it, I should have spent a lot more time with the tactic, and I think I will do that uh, before, well, over the break. Um, obviously, there's not much we can do with these first three games. Still plenty of season to go as we go down 2-0 already, and it's probably going to put us down in the relegation spot. Well, spots, I don't think we've actually moved at all. Just that goal difference is getting worse and worse. Obviously, uh, Zagreb are winning their game, hence why we're not very bottom. Uh, ratings don't look too bad. Um, as far as, well, I had a couple of block shots. That's sort of what I, the pass completion is pretty shit. Or maybe we should go for a, like a short passing, I'm not sure. The problem is we've got such a massive gap between the strikers. Well, the front four and the back four, really. As Collar gets on the end of that, please find a pass, cut it back. I had a man waiting on the back post there. Who was that? It's the winger, Bocage. I mean, that, that could quite easily have been, you know, a goal, a goal back for us. Another corner from Fiolic. Doesn't really find anybody this time. And uh, Novograd will pick that up and come straight back at us. I mean, despite the fact we're down 2-0, it could potentially be 3-0. It's not enough to clear that. It's cleared that away again. Kairama already, I'm really quite excited about. He's already been involved in every highlight. Uh, Vitalik with another long ranger. This time Stipica holds onto it. But I mean, we've already had four shots. So obviously the counter attack to a certain extent is working as we get another corner. Can we do something with this one? Perich again, this time it's in the back of the net and that is 2-1. I'm going to encourage them straight away because that's obviously already going right. Uh, that I am very, very happy about. And just while I'm thinking about it, let me put these back on because I just forget. When I make the little highlight reels at the start of the episodes, I don't want to see the goal over and over again. And I'm just trying to uh, obviously manage the game and then and cut it down for highlights as quickly as possible. That's Novograd coming forward again. Brilliant takeaway by Sonyuk there. On to Kairama. If you can get that forward, um, a little bit to see that. They had the man, you know, the, please save that. Oh, it's off the crossbar. I've got an open goal there. The keeper's far too slow to get back. Peko, Rosman, Peko, Rosman. Rosman came away with it, but that's the end of the highlight anyway. Um, yeah, so ratings wise, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to analyze this as fast as I can, you know, so we can start getting some results on the table. There's only once I've been able to jump to a club halfway through and actually uh, get something out of it, and that was uh, with Bronby. The thing is, I don't think they're playing too badly. They're coming through the middle. We're not doing a whole lot. Uh, so what I will likely do is just sit back a little bit deeper. And maybe try some more direct passing. Because they're, they're very far forward. They're up on the halfway line. We can't really sit much deeper. Uh, we do have the numbers. Number Who's number six here? Fiolic needs to get further forward. Um, so there's gonna be there's going to be a lot of that early on. Can I tell him to get further forward? Yes, I can. Right. Um, also, as far as the team goes, we're going to tell them to... Let's try more direct. Um, probably hit some early crosses. Just try it out, see how it goes. Um, there's obviously a lot to learn in a very, very short time if we want to get anything from this. But I think so far it's pretty positive. Now, we weren't expecting to win uh, anything as far as, as the position goes. That's why we're playing counter-attack. The passing worries me uh, quite a bit. And we're also lacking there in the tackles one. Uh, set pieces look like they could be a strength, though. We've uh, had quite a few corners. And we've looked reasonably dangerous. Is Stolnik going to hold on to this or are we going to lose it? Begonia, back to Perich. The centre-back is taken away by Dadich and... Uh, Novograd are off and running as Peko is far too open. He's going to have to go alone though. Oh, I thought the keeper had spilled that for a second as Rosman clears it out for a throw. Hmm. It's another corner. 
see if I'd have set someone up then perhaps we could have done something with him uh, unfortunately it looks like we're going to be counter attacked just be careful with it Dyke Heisen Hazen they've gone to Fiolic pretty pretty poor here there so giving the ball straight back don't concede just a well done Begonia Karma goes over the top for Kola who's going to be through what touch let him down there if you can get a cross in there's a couple of men Karma that's the equalizer how many goals is that from him? It's the ninth goal of the season. But that is bloody marvellous. That's what that is. You know, so perhaps we may... I don't want to get too ahead of myself and say that we could have played uh, you know, a more attacking mentality. But it's quite a nice finish there from uh, the youngster. It's about 20, 21 I think. We're going to have to make a substitution as well there because uh, Sunyak's starting to feel it. So that's going to be Sorota. Adam Sorota from Australia as a playmaker. Okay, so let's pop you in there. Um, can you play? Not really. Can you play as a ball winning midfielder? Begonia can do everything, so we'll switch them around. Actually, let's just check the footedness. Right foot. They're both right footed. Whatever. All right. So the left back. It's actually not the left back. I showed you Bamba. Um, I sort of had another look and he was actually more suited as a wing back. He's got the crossing and the passing that Bamba didn't have. I uh, just doesn't have the physicals that Bamba's got. Uh, but Begonia over the top for Bacage. He's in. Put that in the back of the net, son. Well done. It's a very, very weak finish. But that, my friends, is enough to bump us up the table a spot as well. Uh, obviously, we're one of the only four teams playing today. Uh, but that's a step closer to the mid-table that we promised them. Uh, so did very well there. Uh, got very, very lucky. <laughs> Had a very lucky deflection off the post. Uh, but that passing's really bugging me. Uh, don't you dare concede. Hang on. Just hang on. Oh, great win. Great win from Stolnik. Go over the top. Go on. Karma, mm, I thought he had the pace to get on there. Pozik's beaten him. Perhaps we could pressure the keeper. Uh, I don't know too much. I don't, I'm not too sure at the moment. I don't really want to pull the team out of shape. Uh, Stolnik there with another good win in the air. Over Peko. And for Pamic. Up to Dadic. Just get rid of it. That's alright because it's gone wide. Um need another central midfielder that's one thing I can tell you for sure Atundi is a winger I don't know if I'd really want to do that Gridge is a bit faster so we'll throw him in there as a winger on attack because I've got those wingbacks pushed forward I maybe should set him to cut inside although it's not really going to be helpful uh, Kola hasn't done too badly today, although I really do think that we are lacking uh, you know, a man advanced enough. I'm just going to maybe tell them to concentrate real quick, because we're so close to our first win. Uh, Dyke Heisen, Hazen, uh, to Gresda, to Dyke Hazen, playing out of our own half obviously, we need to get this away. Sorota's going to go long, Kola has been beaten there. Hamich, Musselin, nah, well done, good interception, uh, Gresda, go over the top, well done, you can get there first, go on, 4-2, make it 4 mate, make it 4, cross goes in, defenders there, Kola should have put that away, absolutely should have put that away, uh, but a very, very good move, and a positive move too, another highlight, just please end the game, uh, Gresda to Dijkhazen, Sorota, back to Dijkhazen. Just, just please, this is like watching Tottenham play. They try and play out of the back and it gets so tight that you can't help but squirm. And that clearance there is very weak. Bocage is going to go long. Collar's on there. You can find the, find the ball in. Go on, go on. 
Go on. Yes! 4-2. That is fantastic. That's really, really good comeback. Second goal of the game for Kairama. Already really not sure how to say any of these names. Uh, I wasn't quite sure this was going to pan out. Good cross. Kairama's there. First man to it. Just places it over Mitrovic. Uh, and that's a pretty bloody good result. As far as I'm concerned, if we just make a little last minute substitution, just try and waste a little bit of time perhaps. Uh, let's bring on Bizyak because although they say he's a striker, he's actually uh, best suited to playing as, as a winger, as an inside forward. So that might be something I look to do, especially if we're going to run with those, uh, those wingbacks as we'll play Bizyak and uh, the other guy Fiolic as inside, inside forwards. Just so there's space, obviously, for those wingbacks. Uh, they can be the, the men that are out wide. Collar of the top. Karama, hat-trick. Uh, taken away by Barrett. It would have been a really, really nice game there. Obviously, we need a kit pack too, because Novograd I uh, have nothing. So we're going to tell them absolutely bloody marvellous. Uh, brilliant comeback. I'm not interested in whether they were favourites or not. I think a result like that is basically going to show people uh, we're not to be pushed about like they think we might be. Uh, and let's not worry too much about the in-between here. I'll jump ahead to the next game so we can fit all three into this episode. And I'll see you in just a second. Uh, like I say, the first, these first few games are just going to be um, a little bit of me having a look what's happening. Um, that sort of thing. Like I say, again here, most used, this most successful uh, and the most vulnerable against it. But... One thing I am sort of looking at already, um, I may drop you for you, like I suggested, uh, inside forwards, like we were talking about, uh, just so the wingers, the wing backs, sorry, I've got something to do there, uh, does that, no, he's on the bench, that's all right, we can, we can switch back to that, should we need to, uh, Grezda may find himself out of here, his contract was uh, expiring, I've been offered about 50k. Uh, his value is not very high. He's all right. Uh, a youngster. I've forgotten. His, uh, no, it wasn't Dolazal. Um, he's gone up because he want, his contract also is expiring. He wants more game time. I don't think he's quite worthy when you look at the uh, statistics and his, um, his attributes and that sort of thing. But anyway, we've, we've talked enough about that for now. Uh, we can discuss a few more things when we get into the game. I'm going to give Rosman another go because, like I say, he is far more suited to that wingback role uh, than the other guy, and I've forgotten his name already. Alaba, something like that. <laughs> uh, so again, we're not the favourites, uh, and apparently that's because of me being a rookie manager. I'm pretty sure they used to say that uh, at Dundalk, uh, and, and look how that ended up. You know, we won consecutive titles the club won even more I've just pushed the wrong button but that's right they seem motivated anyway uh, and speaking of Dundalk I I've beefed out the scouting uh, scouting team a little bit and one of the scouts I picked up happened to be Irish and was on his reports it had a few of the Dundalk players so I've scouted them just as a comparison uh, because that sort of backs up why uh, why I changed leagues and what I said about the reputation as most of those guys despite how good they were for the Irish Premier League and you know they were leading players uh, they're only good players for the division below this one uh, so that sort of shows you uh, the step up we've taken in terms of quality ability um, you know something something along those lines but wow Holy shit. I made I'm, I come off counter here. That is monumental unless they're about to score. No, it's taken away. Out of Bizyak. So you can cut inside like an inverted wing back there. Uh, Collar is out wide, surprisingly. Uh, Bizyak again, still coming through the middle. Striker there on the left. Back to Bizyak again. Onto Sunyak. Uh, please don't waste this, which he has done and put it wide. But what the hell is going on here? I'm mean, eight long shots. Perhaps I'm going to go standard. Uh, 
I'm going to tell them to get creative. Maybe we should work the ball into the box. That is ridiculous. Ah, uh, dang, Gubik. Now you watch, they'll come along and score. Please don't. Please don't. Ah, uh, don't do it. Oh, that was scary looking. Ah, uh, dang, Gubik again. Edge of the box. Oh, it was a hell of a shot uh, from Clapan there. Um, yeah. Let's just go back to counter. I mean, the goalkeeper had no idea what the hell was going on. He's gone for the front post. Uh, Clapan's put that between two players and just rocketed it. Uh, basically, tucked it in as tight as he could. Hell of a shot. There isn't much I can say wrong, you know, about that. Yeah, I think they have been unlucky. Right, never mind. My plan, like I say, was to maybe press a bit more. You know, win the ball back quicker, uh, move it around quicker. You know, obviously a higher tempo, press a bit more, shorter passing. Let's get that out of the way. Once I change that, I'm going to encourage them to a nice and early. I'm only down one. I'm actually nah. You know what? Fuck that. It's just this. The shots is an issue. So many long shots, and no, that's going to be entirely my fault. Now if we just pause that for a second, I bet you. I, uh, me, just far too involved. Just shoot less often. Uh, same with you. Uh, can I tell him to hold it up? Perhaps it might be. Well, that sort of defeats the purpose of being on a counter attack, but why not? Look at me going backwards and forwards. Uh, I will spend some more time on that, like I say, in the in the break, uh, just so I can keep an eye. An eye. Ali Bamba, that's the guy I was trying to get uh, my head around. Bokaj is going to come in. You can play up front, can't you? You can, as a poacher, advance forward, false nine. All right. So you can go up there. Uh, as a poacher, because that will get him further forward. And I'm going to put Bokaj in there. And the next swap will probably be one of these two uh, for Fiolic. I'll put you back to a winger on attack. Let's get back into the game. Just so I don't drag this episode out for too long. And hit play. That might be a good idea. But wow, those match stats. Jesus. That almost makes me want to go to attacking. I'm going to have to see if we can get one back. Because they're a top four? Fourth? Well, they're in third, you know, based on this result. Uh, it doesn't help us at all, but a win would get us that much closer. I'm going to go overload, and wow, that has disappeared. Time has just gone. I need to make some substitutions. Busyak's done fuck all since he's come on. Let's bring Etundi. Out wide, Gresda. Put Gresda out wide again. Um, do I change a midfielder? No, because they're playing pretty well. Let's bring him in. Uh, target man on support. You can go to an advanced forward. And I, I should tell them to aim their crosses. Uh, but I think we've actually run out of time here today. And that really bugs me because that. Although that's my fault, you know, 17 long shots is absolutely my fault for not spending a little bit more time on the tactic earlier on. Just a little bit too excited to start recording, you know. Uh, good win there from Sonyuk, but that's going to be about all the time we have for the game. Not massively disappointed in the result. I mean, yeah, it sucks to have that many shots. Uh, but what it does mean going forward, yeah, I think... Uh, we were unlucky. And Eternity's not interested in that. But I think we were. And we were unlucky not to put something where we haven't got any prolific strikers, really. Um, yeah, it was a hell of a strike. I can't argue that. First defeat. I don't think we deserved it. Simple as that. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the next game. 
uh, the last against NK Solon, which I'm hoping for a win. And that'll be our last, last one before the winter break. I'll see you there. All right, game three. I slightly tweaked the tactic. Uh, this is more of a attacking control. Uh, it's just basically more aggressive. So first thing to note is the keeper is now a sweeper keeper on support. I've also set him to distribute quickly uh, to the fullbacks. Everybody is set on shoot less often, shorter passing. Uh, the team instructions are now shorter passing as well and we're going to work the ball into the box uh, on control obviously and i've also put into motion the false nine and the advance forward hopefully to fill that space uh, that i identified in the last game uh, so we've had a couple of players come through uh, and mention they want first team opportunities i've essentially told them uh, new regime give it time uh, and see what happens yeah, that, that kind of nonchalant bs uh, and that's something i will i'll look into over the oh, bash the microphone uh something i'll look into over that month off you know the winter break maybe make some uh, some signings just to sort of fill in the gaps that i can see uh, and it's going to be wingbacks i think i'm quite tempted to try well i built a 3-4-3 sort of similar to what spurs uh, and chelsea as much as I can't put Chelsea and Spurs in the same sentence, I uh, have been playing. I'm on control, but we're not getting the position. Good start. Really good start. Uh, and it's it's now the game's turned it into a 5-2-2-1, I think they called it. Uh, so it's three at the back, two wing backs, uh, two central midfielders, two advanced midfielders, and a sole striker. Uh, Luca Bagogna is going to be in trouble here. Okay, sweet, just a talking to. Thank God for that. Okay, so the position started to balance out. Our passing is definitely favorable. Shit. Try and praise them, we go a goal down. And that's not good because they're 10th. Well, they were 10th, they've just jumped two positions. Uh, this is not what I wanted. Maybe I should, shouldn't mess around with things. I should leave them alone. Uh, so obviously that was must have been Stolnik's uh, mistake. It's our first game at home as well, and it's going terribly. Perhaps I will move back to our counter-attacking setup. I sort of need to see uh, the pro zone at half time. Probably could look right now. I just want to see if those gaps that I've, you know, I said I've seen have been filled as I intended them to be filled uh, or whether I've just made a bit of a cock up so I, I noted I watched some of the footage and I'm quite fidgety <laughs> I forget that the web the, you know the camera's there uh, so you just have to just bear with me while I adjust uh, you know before long it'll become quite comfortable uh, second nature perhaps um, aggressive Where you, where's your passion it's just, it's nice to see. It's just nice to see, you know, how things uh, sort of take shape after, you know, you put them into action. And it's much nicer to see it in a graphic like that. There's just a couple of hard, long shots are under control. Position we've got back, finally. All right, collar. That looks like that's going to be a red. Uh, and I may go attacking with half an hour to go. Although, can make the control will be better. So, Perkovic is gone for a second yellow card. Gives us a free kick right on the edge of the box. Felix, Rosman, it's going to fall back to Kyrama. Please put that in the back of the net, mate. Gonna go out for a corner instead. So the shots on target is going to be an issue. Perhaps I should address that in training, maybe a bit of attacking movement or something. At the moment, they're on... Uh, it's gone for Perich at the front post again. Uh, Perich should have done much better there. Right. If this doesn't work in the next 10 minutes, like now... Right, we're going to go attacking. Um, I'm tempted to just do this, to be honest with you. 
you go there. He plays a Shadow Striker, uh, which means you can play a defensive forward on support. It should prevent them from getting in behind us, although we could push that line forward, uh, which we might have to do very soon. We're going to go up to attacking. And I'm going to not do anything because I can't. Oh, wow. Come on. I don't really know what to say. Uh, Halilovich, give you a shot, eh? Uh, Dolazal, inside forward. I mean, at this point in time, I'm clutching at straws. You're attacking midfielder on support. I don't really want two of you on support. You want to attack. See, now the challenge has started because I got quite comfortable at Dundalk. You know, I could run out the same tactic, just change a few players around every now and again. I'm going to go overload also. Just to try and force something. Ah, oh, the long shots begin. Well, I'd like to say we've been FM'd, but we just haven't played as well as we could. Uh, and it upsets me because they're supposed to be a top five team. Um, you know, we had a good win on counter. Maybe we should have stuck with counter. Okay, so we go into the break. Uh, and I can already see we're going to come straight back for Dinamo Zagreb and Hedgek Split because they're one and two. That'll do it for today. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, obviously thank you for watching. Uh, check back in for the next one. Uh, and as always, have yourselves a great day. Thanks. Bye.